All eyes are on an open seat in the U.S. House of Representatives as Minnesota gets ready for a special election to fill the spot. In an exclusive ABC 6 News a Survey USA poll, candidate Brad Finstead pulls ahead of Jeff Ettinger in the race for Congressional District 1. We have ABC 6 News reporter Emily Popal in studio to break the poll down for us. Emily? James, these poll results show Republican candidate Finstad ahead of Democratic candidate Ettinger for the upcoming special election. But this seat is known for flipping back and forth between the two parties. And with the special election being just over a week away, our political analyst says it's not a done deal for Finstad. Hearing the concerns of folks and, and being able then to represent them in Congress is, is my goal. Brad Finstad, a former U.S. Department of Agriculture official in Trump's White House, pulls ahead and listen and learn from people in the district of former Hormel food CEO Jeff Ettinger in the race for congressional district one in an exclusive ABC 6 News Survey USA poll 46% of 544 likely and actual voters say they'll vote for Finstad Ettinger behind him at 38% 8% of those we surveyed say they're still undecided but political analyst Shane Baker says it's not over for Ettinger I think if I'm Ettinger, I would feel good about, hey, we're, we're doing quite well um, in, in building name recognition, building some momentum, and, and at 38 percent, that's a, within striking distance. The district has bounced back and forth between parties since the 80s. Before the late Republican Congressman Jim Hagedorn held the seat, it was Democrat Tim Walls. For Democrats to get the seat back, Baker says Ettinger needs to increase voter participation in an unusual and often unheard of special election. It probably won't come down to conversion. It'll come down to participation. Of 704 registered voters, 12% already voted and 46% say they're certain to vote. But 19% say they'll only probably vote. 11% say there's a 50-50 chance. 10% say they will probably not vote. And 2% say, as of right now, they're still unsure. This race may yield just a few months on Capitol Hill, but it has longer implications. If you win the special election, you're going to be in Washington. You can say that you did the job for a certain amount of time, and, and with that comes some built-in advantages, name recognition, uh, access to people. Granting a head start for the November general election. And this comes as 65% of polled voters disapprove of the job that, you know, that the United States Congress is doing, also according to our Survey USA poll. And Emily, this poll asked a number of questions. What other insight are we getting from the answers people gave us? James, I'll have more information on what issues could impact the way voters vote in this special election coming up tomorrow. Topics ranging from gun laws to abortion rights to the pandemic. Important topics. Emily, thank you.